This video was made possible by CD Key Prices. For a listing of the cheapest prices for all PC games, make sure you check out cdkeyprices.com. Also, if you don't like getting pennies for your video game trade-ins and would prefer to get a better deal, make sure you visit leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on everybody? So this is one of the few Watchdog multiplayer matches I've actually been able to finish. Uh, we know the Uplay and uh, Ubisoft servers are completely unstable. Even if you can get into a multiplayer game, it's very hard to stay connected. It's just all over the place. Um, I'm doing a post commentary the morning after, you know, the day of release. I don't know how it is this morning, but just wanted to do some post commentary on this uh, multiplayer video before I bring you more live commentaries uh, today, hopefully. All right, so the Watch Dogs multiplayer. So first of all, I'm playing it. Um, this match I was playing on PlayStation 4 because I still could not get into a stable uh, game on the PC. I managed to get one on the PlayStation 4, so that's why... Uh, you know this match is on that um, So this is encryption. This is the game mode It's encryption and basically to simplify it and describe it. It's steal the bacon There's a file in the middle of the of the map um, And by the way, they minimize and section off the map. So when you're playing this mode It's not like you had actually have the whole city to run around in because that would be you know too crazy and too much they have to you know make the map into an arena so that's what they did and from what i've experienced uh there can be free-for-all encryption or team encryption i prefer team encryption i think uh it's a lot more fun when this mode is team based and th this i would describe this multiplayer or the feeling of it is as kind of quirky or unorthodox the aiming is really there's not really any aim assist online from what i'm seeing it seems like slight it seems slight but you really have to delicately take your time and aim because it feels different than aiming on you know even most other uh third person shooters you know it, it feels very different so it takes a while to adjust it's even taken me a while to adjust to the the button layout right uh, trying to get used to like a uh, X or a to take cover O to jump uh, O or B to jump over something I don't know why it's because I think it's usually the other way around when it comes to third-person shooters uh, yeah X or a is usually to like jump over something most of the time I believe and right there I, I ran up I, I drove up on a guy so that my so that my um dude at shotgun could try to kill the guy at the window but the guy ended up killing us because when you're the guy who's driving can't shoot so i was driving i can't shoot but someone in your passenger side riding shotgun they can shoot out the window so it was pretty cool and that's what, what i really like about the you know the whole team based feel uh about this once you get the file your team has to run and play defense uh if the other team has the file obviously you need to go on offense and chase them down um, and I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so the control scheme is kind of weird. I'm still getting used to that. You know, it's, it's odd to me, but I'm still getting used to that. It's got to kind of recondition my mind and, you know, brain my, brainwash myself to get used to the, this control scheme. I know you can change the control scheme, but I doubt you can change it into anything uh, that'll make it necessarily easier for me. Um, but I can, I think, I, I do like, wow, and he ran me right over, owned destroyed um but so far i have been f having fun with the multiplayer i think once i finally get a chance to play with some actual friends i will enjoy it a lot more because i haven't been able to i mean it's just if, if it's not you play it's a psn problem you know psn cannot load all my friends i don't know why they allow you to have 2,000 friends if PSN can't loading all of them in a in a quick in a quick fashion because it takes it really honestly takes a long time Ooh, and I shot him right out the car window um, oh nice I, I forgot that happened <laughs> he pretty much hit the guy he hit the he hit the guy's car and the ca car kind of sent him flying and I was able to you know it exposed him and I was able to hit him right there so he's got the file and uh, I just hop in passenger side with him and and now we ride and now this guy pulls up on the side of us 
One thing I didn't do, which I should have done to realize is you can, it's, you can shoot tires out pretty easily in this game. And they give you a loadout. Wow, he, he got ran right over. They give you a loadout, by the way, um, that you can choose from. Uh, it's like a, either a shotgun and, a, and an assault rifle or a, uh, or a sniper rifle and a pistol or a uh, SMG and something else. So they give you, uh, I don't think you can make custom loadouts. I think it's just already preset loadouts made for you. And they give you like two grenades, um, a few hacking abilities. Like you can do the same thing you do like in the multiplayer, like, uh, like you know, uh, hack the, the traffic lights, the blockers, um, different things like that. You can you can still call, cause a blackout. You know, if you cause a blackout, you each I think each person gets one blackout. Uh, one basically one of those abilities per game. Um, so you know, and the blackout, how that benefits you is if you if you use your blackout, that means the other team can't uh, do things such as use uh, blockers or traffic lights because you've blacked out all the electronics for a temporary time in the city, so they can't use that, and it could lead to them being trapped in certain situations. So that's the strategic advantage to it. But today, I really want to get on Watch Dogs and hopefully play with some friends or at least play with some people who have mics because you know that's what uh, upon appearance of seeing this mode from the trailers and definitely even from playing it that's what made this this mode look fun is to be able to you know uh, communicate with t uh, your teammates and just you know the whole team-based cooperative thing looks really fun um, and right now we're just playing defense he almost killed me right there. He shot the ex there, there's explosive barrels, and he shot the explosive barrels right next to me, and it could have killed me. And by the way, one one thing I was surprised about is skill points. Uh, the same skill points you can unlock in the single player for the game, but you can use in the multiplayer and vice versa. So, if you do things online to unlock uh, skill points, they go they, they still apply to the single player also. So as I said, right now we're just playing defense. Uh, our guy is wearing this warehouse and and our guy with the file is just sitting at the bottom and we're pretty much just trying to watch out for him. And we, we happen to win. The thing I'm not sure about this game is, this game mode is, when it comes, it's first to unlock the file, right? Because like I said, it's steal the bacon. But one thing I'm not sure about, I, I, I think it's, it's pretty much the team that is holding the file when it gets to 100%. From what I understand is you can hold the file the longest in the mode, but still lose. It's about it, the team that wins is the team that holds it is holding it when it gets to 100%, which I thought is kind of stupid. I feel like it should it should uh, be the team that had the longest unlock for the file, but I, uh, they, they decided to go with it the other way. Um, but yeah, this is, I uh, just wanted to give you all this, talk about the multiplayer a little bit. Um, there's a lot more small details and nuances. I still don't know about the multiplayer and everything like that, but hopefully, I'll get a lot more into it and figure a lot more stuff out about it and, you know, start owning people in this game like I do every other multiplayer game. But anyway, that's it, y'all. I'm out of here for now. More videos coming later. Peace.